It's been almost 20 years since the terrorist attacks on 9-11 devastated our nation. And now that we are about to reach this milestone, it's important to reflect on all that our country has been through, all that we have accomplished over those past two decades as well. Joining me now to talk more of his memories of that day, Executive Director of the Freedom Research Foundation, Brandon Wheeler. Brandon, good to see you tonight. Good to see you, Ginger. All right, so you are a combat veteran. You served in Afghanistan. Where were you on 9-11 and your thoughts? You know, I was a freshman in college at the Virginia Military Institute, and I remember the confusion, not knowing if it was an accident or a, some kind of an attack, and the sense of just fear amongst all of my peers and what was the future for America. Um, you know, when we look back on that day, Till now, we just can't forget. There's now generations of people who were born in this period and don't know what September 11th was. But we were attacked as a people for our way of life because we believed in something, freedom and civil discourse and the things that make America what it is. Yeah, you know, I have a picture of my daughter actually holding a newspaper up the day after. She's 10 months old, and I wanted her to really see. Look, you were alive. You have no clue what happened that day, but um, I, I really want her to understand what happened that day. And for the first time, you know, we as Americans who obviously didn't live through uh, so many other tragedies, we were the first time we saw this kind of terrorism on, human so on American soil. What did that mean to you? What it meant for me is that I was willing to stand alongside my fellow American on my left and right. Regardless of their partisan view, we believed in principles as Americans. United, we understood that we were being attacked because they wanted to destroy our way of life. And for me, that was nothing more honorable or more great to stand up. And there were many thousands of Americans who stood up and ran to go fight against this evil that was being you know, portrayed against us and being directed towards us. And for 20 years, we fought that battle. What did we accomplish over that 20 years? You know, I think, Ginger, it was really hard for me to, to think about what I was going to say when asked that question after these 20 years. What I'll tell you is that I believe the spirit of America exists inside of every single American. And we need to look to each other and stop thinking about what are the differences between us. But what is this great nation that we have? The Constitution and the Bill of Rights that we have, that every man and woman are created equal, and then we can live these li this life united. But we cannot forget that there are enemies out there that now govern Afghanistan, the Taliban, or that govern Iraq, Iran who want to destroy that way of life because they don't believe in it the way that we do. Yeah, no doubt. What have we lost over this uh, two decades? You know, we've lost thousands of American of lives and, and trillions of dollars and the money I'm not worried about. It's the lives and the commitment that we make to the families, the mothers, the wives, the daughters, the children that all had lost and sacrificed in that experience to defend this country and what it stands for. That loss can never be forgotten, and we have to remember that the only way we can never forget them is to remember we have to hold our leaders accountable to defend this great nation and the principles for which it stands. Yeah, it seems like I've never seen a nation more unified than uh, the years after, I guess maybe immediately after 9-11. It's just unfortunate that something like that unifies this nation as opposed to just wanting to go forward um, for freedom, which is exactly what your group fights for. I understand that you've got a big event coming up on the 18th. Tell me about that. That's right. Uh, September 18th, uh, Freedom Research Foundation has joined the Soft Support Foundation, which is committed to helping provide medical care to the families of active duty veterans, uh, predominantly the Navy SEAL community here, who have sacrificed so much. And all of those loss at home and abroad, those are scars that those people and those families will live for for generations. So we're committed to trying to provide them with the care that they need in order to live fullest and the best lives in this great society we have. So anyone can go sign up and take part in that uh, golf tournament fundraiser? Yeah, of course. Tell me about your Freedom Research Foundation. What exactly is your goal? The Freedom Research Foundation was started by my father in 1984 to help educate Americans in government and out of government on what's really going on in the world and how do we make better decisions about who we elect, who's going to lead this country, 
and how do we understand what are the real threats and how to manage them. The solution is not always to give somebody a weapon and send them overseas. Sometimes it's a better understanding of our enemy, how they want to defeat us, and what we can do because we have a lot of really powerful tools, our economy, our ideas that are much more powerful than a weapon. It certainly served this nation well for over 200 years. One of my favorite statements in your mission statement is practical action to peaceably fight injustice and create freedom for all. Not just freedom who agree with you, freedom for all. And I think that is one of the difference makers with what you are doing, Brandon. Thank you so much for your time and your insight tonight. Thank you, Ginger. All right.